UTX Oracle is a radically different approach to checking the price of Bitcoin. It does it in a completely decentralized uh, and open source way. Anybody can download the UTX Oracle Pi software, run it on a machine that's connected to their local node. The program will just connect to your node, start estimating the price by reading in all blocks on any day that you ask it for. This is running yesterday right now reading in all blocks and analyzing all transactions on that day. It'll take a few minutes to complete, but at the end of the program, everyone will estimate the exact same price. Yesterday, February 10th, 2025, it found it to be $97,164. This is very different from other ways of checking the price. Traditionally, we use exchange prices like Coinbase.com or price checking apps such as CoinGecko or CoinMarket dot, CoinMarketCap.com. These are all very useful, especially exchanges as we use to um, exchange Bitcoin price. And UTX Oracle uses these exchange prices um, in an indirect way. But there's a couple problems, or at least using uh, exchange prices and third-party services isn't really ideal for a couple of different reasons. First of all, their code isn't open source. Secondly, you're using a trusted third party to basically tell you what the price is. Everyone doesn't get the same price because not all websites are available the same in different countries. Some companies serve different websites depending on locations. Not all apps are available on Android and iPhone in the same way. It's not a global average price. So you're either getting the price from a single exchange or the different price checking services might average different exchanges, but they'll do it in different ways as there is no agreed upon way to do it. Finally, when you spend $100 at Coinbase and you don't withdraw that Bitcoin, are you getting the Bitcoin price or are you getting the price of an IOU of Bitcoin? Are you getting the price of paper Bitcoin? UTX Oracle solved all these problems, but how exactly does it do it since the Bitcoin price itself is not an on-chain feature? There is no price in Bitcoin transactions. It turns out that if you look at the uh, transaction history of all time, in 2016, 2017, as we zoom in here, you'll see that people started spending round amounts of US dollars. This is what these jagged lines are here. This is uh, $1 of Bitcoin, $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, $1,000, all the way up to $10,000, we can see people spending round amounts of dollars. Just think about how you yourself spend Bitcoin. When you're sending Bitcoin to a friend, don't you usually use $20, $50? When you're getting a Bitcoin from an ATM, isn't it exactly $100? When you're sending Bitcoin to an exchange, don't you often send like a round amount, like $500 or $1,000, so you can remember how much you sent there. Turns out if you, um, what UTX Oracle does is it simply imports the day's worth of transaction activity. It looks for where all of these lines are. It uses all of the round amount lines in order to exactly find um, where these lines are occurring. If you know that a transaction was $100, and you know how much Bitcoin that transaction was, you simply divide $100 by the amount of Bitcoin, and that gives you a price estimate. And that's how UTX Oracle works. But how accurate is it? I've been running uh, UTX Oracle ever since 2021. And here is a price. These prices are tabulated at the bottom of the website that I'll show you. You can make this graph yourself, but they're basically exactly the same as at exchange prices. As we discussed before, there really is no way of making a perfect average Bitcoin price. And one can argue that UTX Oracle does this in a more elegant way than other averaging because it uses only transactions um, on chain. UTX Oracle is completely open source. Anyone can view the source code, download it. There is no trusted third party here. You're running the code yourself and using your own Bitcoin node data. Everyone gets the same price. Everybody gets identically the same output from this program using the same data from their different Bitcoin node. It's a global average price that essentially uses every 
Um, all information from every exchange. If a price from exchange w went into constructing a transaction, then that price from that exchange is reflected in this average. And there are no paper trading prices in UTX Oracle. We're only using on-chain transactions. So every price that went into this went into a transaction that happened on-chain. For more information, go to my website, utxo.live slash oracle. If you go here, um, this is the URL at the top here. You'll see like a brief recap. This is kind of the project homepage. Here's where you can get the utxoracle.py software. You can also just click on that and view it. It'll open in your browser. This was the price yesterday. There are more explanation videos. If you want a con uh, further conceptual understanding of how the algorithm works, go here. If you want an under the hood explanation, including a code review, go to the under the hood video right there. This again is the uh, price accuracy information. There are three simple steps here. If you want to run it yourself, you have to make one change to the configuration options of Bitcoin Core. Download the code with this terminal command right here and run the code with this terminal command right here. Of course, we always encourage you to read the source code, which I have put a lot of effort into making as transparent as possible. Lots of English in here, thorough explanations, diagrams. Um, it is a Python code, but there is way more English than there is code in here. And finally, at the bottom of the website is the tabulated UTX Oracle price history. Uh, so that's it. If you want to get in touch with me, I am uh, Simple Steve on Twitter at Steve Simple. Uh, please um, give me a shout, send me a message if you have any questions, and uh, hope you run it. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.